When calculating the volume of your mold, you can use inches or centimeters. So I am going to show you both ways of calculating the total volume of your mold. Good day, good day, good day. Hi everyone, welcome to Humbled Nature, where we spread the goodness of Christ and make handmade bath and body. If you like this kind of content, please like this video and join this fa family. <laughs> Let me say that one more time. Please join this family. So a fellow soap maker from Malawi, shout out to her, has been asking me a couple of questions. And one of the questions that she asked me was, how do you know how much oil you need in a mold for it to be filled up to the top? So this is something that I struggled with when I started making soap. And so I am hoping my explanation makes it so much clear. It's actually very easy. I don't know why people make it so complicated, but it's actually very easy. And I hope this video will help you know how to calculate a soap recipe. Before I explain how you can calculate your own soap recipe, please excuse my dirty looking molds. I just came back from church, took out the soap that was already in there and thought this was the best time to do this video. I will be using these two molds as examples, how to calculate this huge one right here. It is almost double the size of the blue one. I had it made at the local carpenter, but I don't use it often because it did not come out the way that I actually wanted it to come out. The reason why I use this one over the blue one sometimes is because when I have a larger batch of soap to make, I prefer using this huge one that I can make at once than having to make it multiple times with the small blue mold. I also like using this sometimes because the sides are removable. As you can see, I can just unscrew them and take them off and I can do the same on the other side. This will make it a lot easier to remove the soap um, out of the mold. No, it's actually removing the mold from the soap than removing the soap from the mold. So yes, this is what I use sometimes, but I will not be using that as an example today for how to calculate your soap recipe. When calculating the volume of your mold, you can use inches or centimeters. So I am going to show you both ways of calculating the total volume of your mold. So the first one I am going to use is inches. The first thing that you need to do is calculate the total volume that the mold can hold. So you do that by multiplying the length times the height times the width. And in my example, I get 70. So that is 70 ounces. So this blue mold right here holds a total weight of 70 ounces worth of soap. Now that you have the total weight of the mold, you will take that total weight, which is 70 ounces in this example, and you multiply it using a range between 0 0.39 and 0 0.42. This means that 39% of your soap is oils or 42% of your soap is oils. I have found that when I'm using this blue mold, if I multiply with 0 0.39, it does not fill up the mold to the top. It just goes just a little under. So I multiply with 0 0.42 to fill up the mold to the top. Now I am going to show you how you can calculate the exact same thing using centimeters. The first thing that you do is measure out your width 
then multiply it with your length and your height and you get your total volume which is now in grams because we're using centimeters now that you have your total volume you will multiply that with a range between 0 0.65 and 0 0.7. This is the main difference between ounces and grams. I found that when I'm using again the blue mold, I need to multiply with 0 0.67 to get it to fill up to the top. Once you know the total amount of oil that you need, the rest of it is easy. You just have to head over to soap calc and it will do all the calculations for you. I have another video right here that explains how to use soap calc and be sure to head over there once you finish watching this one. The next mold that I am using as an example is this mold that has nine little squares. It is a bit tedious to try and measure out each one of them. You don't have to do that. You just measure out the volume of one little square and you multiply it by nine. So firstly, you calculate the total volume, which is width times length times height. And for one pocket, I get 4.8 ounces. But because these are nine pockets, I will multiply 4.8 by nine and I get a total of 43.6 ounces. Once I have that, I will take the total volume, 43.6, and multiply it again with a range between 0 0.3 and 0 0.42. I have found that when I'm using a smaller mold like this, if I multiply with 0 0.4, it will help me to fill up the mold. If I use 0 0.42, I would just have too much excess soap that I'll end up throwing away. Most of the times I don't like doing that at all. So I just stick with 0 0.4. I will do the exact same thing here, only that I'm using centimeters. Again, I calculate the volume with times length times height. And for one pocket, I get 78.4 grams. And that 78.4, I multiply it by nine and I get 705 grams. Once I have that 705, I multiply it with the range between 0 0.65 and 0 0.7. And in this case, I multiply with 0 0.65 so that it can fill up the mold. The figures may seem so small and insignificant, but they actually make a huge difference in the amount of soap that you will have. Once you know how much oil you need, it is super easy. You just head over to Soap Calc or any other soap calculator. I have linked down in the description box below the soap calc that I use that I find easy to use. And I've also linked down the video that explains how to use soap calc. This is the end of this video. If you have any comments or questions, please write them down in the comments section. I will be happy to answer them. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the family. Have a wonderful and blessed day.